the best things a marketing campaign can do is to get people talking. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do though, so it's kind of a holy grail for marketers. The campaign has to be interesting, memorable, and impactful, otherwise it just kind of gets lost with the rest of the noise. The latest brand to achieve this though has been Carlsberg. Until fairly recently, Carlsberg have been known for two things, a fairly sad tasting beer and a slogan. Probably the best lager in the world. That slogan itself is the brainchild of the marketing agency KMP, and it first saw the light of day in the 80s in the form of a TV ad campaign featuring Orson Welles. But as they consider that Carlsberg is already probably the best lager in the world, they have little hope of success. Oh well, Carlsberg, probably the best lager in the world. Coupled with Wells' smooth claims about the perfection of the beer, the ad campaign and the slogan were both a hit, which meant that Carlsberg decided they wanted to keep it for the next four decades. There's a small problem though. Anybody who's ever actually tried Carlsberg knows that it's not exactly all that. But it's cheap, so. The change came though when Carlsberg realized this and in the face of an increasingly crafty hipstery beer culture decided it was time for a refresh. It began with some weird tweets, leading some to believe that maybe an ex-marketer had locked themselves away with the company Twitter. Old tweets from private accounts began to resurface as promoted by Carlsberg. Tweets that compared the taste of the beer to, among other things, stale breadsticks, naan bread, and bath water. Now even the uninitiated know that when you're trying to sell something, you tend to avoid comparing it to bath water. It kept happening though, and eventually it became clear that this was, in fact, a deliberate strategy. The tweets were followed by Carlsberg releasing curated videos of their employees reading out some of the tweets and having a bit of a laugh at their employees' expense. Carlsberg tastes like the rancid <laughs> of Satan. I don't know what to say to that. Carlsberg tastes like naan bread. Carlsberg tastes like a bitter divorce. Finally, adding a little more clarity though, Carlsberg released their full product campaign. The printed materials admit that we focused on brewing quantity, not quality. We became one of the cheapest, not the best. Apparently though, they've seen the light, and in an attempt to move the brand up market, they're claiming they've improved the quality of not only the beer, but the brewing process as well. The beer is now no longer labeled as just lager, now it's a Danish pilsner. The new recipe hit pubs just in time for the glorious Easter weekend that we experienced here in the UK, giving pub goers a chance to try the new beer. The campaign must strike anyone as orthodox, but it has got people talking. Those sun adult pub goers will likely have tried a pint of the newest Marta Carlsberg. Another thing is it's brave. When was the last time you saw a company publicize their own criticism? Being brave in marketing is key. People don't want to see just another cliche campaign about how your product brings people together. The idea is to catch the consumer's attention, and Carlsberg have at least already done that. The campaign also hit TV recently, featuring brand ambassador and former Bond villain Mads Mikkelsen. The ad shows Mikkelsen rowing a boat across a lake and suggesting that the person responsible for the last 40 years is now at the bottom of said lake. Has the person responsible for the old beer been dealt with? Probably. A good deal of the possible success though rests on whether Carlsberg has actually made a nicer beer and only time and a reduction in bathwater themed tweets will actually show that. If you want to learn how a bit of brave marketing could help build your brand, head over to our site today and check us out.